Hi and welcome to the Creative Treehouse. My name is Robin Broom and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Thanks so much for joining me in the Treehouse today. Today we are going to be working on a card and it is a Get Well card and it features some of the new in colors and a stamp set that a lot of people are have not even been aware of. So in the winter months, uh, often we need sympathy cards and get well cards. And I don't think this uh, winter is going to be any exception. We had a workshop recently where we made two get well cards and two sympathy cards. Here's what the inside of this one looks like. And I'm going to walk you through all the steps to make this particular card. My favorite thing about the card is the tissue box. So let me show you the stamp set. The stamp set is called um, Speedy Recovery. And a lot of the people in the workshop, in fact, I think all of the people in the workshop had no idea that this was in the annual catalog. And then we had a team meeting a couple days later and none of the team members <laughs> knew that this was in the annual catalog. They were all very surprised. So um, this might catch you a little bit surprised. Um, I think it's a wonderful set and I would highly recommend adding it to your stash. If you don't already have it, you can certainly order it from my website, my online store, if you um, don't already have it. So that is the Speedy Recovery Set. Great set with great sentiments. All right, let's go through all of the supplies that you'll need to make it. First, we have the card base, which is, I'd already um, mentioned, it was a in color. It is the um, Orchid Oasis. Isn't it a pretty color? And it is um, five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then we'll need a piece of the Starry Sky, also one of the in colors. And this one is um, cut at four and a half, four and a half by three and a quarter. Sorry, four and a half by three and a quarter. And then we'll move to a piece just a slight bit smaller that's a very vanilla, and it is four and a quarter by three. And then another piece of the Orchid Oasis, and it is four and one eighth by two and seven eighths. And that is um, all of our big pieces for the front of the card. You will also need a little strip of the Starry Sky, and we're gonna make a banner with that. And this one is cut at, let's see if I can find it. It is, still looking for it. Oh, four by three and a quarter. There it is. Four by three and a quarter, just three quarters of an inch by four. And we're just going to flag the ends ourselves. And then you need a piece of uh, white, not very vanilla, but white to stamp your tissue box. The reason for that is I've tried it on the very vanilla and it really changes up the color. Uh, the ink color doesn't do as well with the very vanilla. So you do need a piece of, just a scrap piece of basic white. Um, this one is cut at two by two inches, but it can be probably just a slight bit smaller than that. You'll also need a little scrap the same size approximately for it, but a very vanilla for your sentiment. And then you'll need a little piece of tissue paper, just wrapping tissue paper um, in white, I guess. And it is approximately like an inch by two inches. So that's what you'll need. And the only thing I think I'm missing is my my little beige uh, square at the moment. So, and then the first thing we did, oh, well, let me tell you the inside too while I'm at it. Okay, we have for the inside, I have a piece of the starry sky and it measures the five by three and three quarters. And then a very vanilla, just slight bit smaller at four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Now, all of these measurements will be on my blog. Um, this creative tree house and let's see also there's an embossing folder it is a retired embossing folder my embossing folders at workshops <laughs> go through some um, serious wear and tear so um, people when just uh, a heads up be sure that when you when you run it through your stamp cut and emboss machine that you run it through this way with the seam side and not any other way especially this way because it it will tear it up and be sure that all your plates and things are lined up as you push it through too so because it will eat the the edges of any of your folders i believe this one was probably like the subtle textures or something it is retired um i don't believe in the in the current annual catalog there's anything similar that's 
like slightly subtle but um, you may already have this one or something else that would work and then you'll also need I used the um, next to the smallest circle from the stylish um, shapes die set to cut out my sentiment all right I think that is everything all right so what we'll start with is we'll go and get our our orchid oasis the small piece that's on the front and we're going to stamp on it and we're going to stamp the flowers from that stamp set and we're going to stamp it in starry sky and i'm looking around to see if i have a, a, two, a some scratch paper that i can um use because we're going to be stamping off the paper a little bit so i just stamped almost sort of randomly, but just try to cover up all of the little spots that can be going different different directions with your flowers. And some of it will be covered up by the sentiment and the tissue box. But so we'll just see what we can do. In fact, I think I'll just put the, some stems right here and maybe see if we can fit that one in there as well all right that's fine because like I said a lot of that's going to be covered up all right and we we'll use the starry sky for that all right and now um we'll actually I'll keep the starry sky out and we are going to to do the tissue box next so in the tissue box um like I said it's going to be on the white piece and any of these that are just have a really smooth especially the ones that have larger um, smooth surfaces. The stamp radis is a wonderful tool to use with that and it makes it up. Oh, that one turned out well but you can see on this one I did not use the stamp radis and it was just a little bit lighter right in here. Okay so now we've got that one stamped and all right, let me go ahead and show you what we what I did with the tissue box. I got the snips and I just there is not a, a die set that goes with this but I just follow the tissue box around ignoring the tissue that stands up in it and just go straight across so it's not very hard to fussy cut out because it's just straight lines and the snips are paper snips are a great tool very easy to use and does it's a great job so so now we've cut it and it's going to look like this the next thing we're going to do is we will need to take um, something to protect our work surface and I have just a piece of random cardboard here and I'm going to put the tissue box on that and then I have a just a craft knife like an exacto and I am going to go and I'm just going <clears> to <throat> follow the line where the tissue goes where the tissue would pop out and I'm going to make a little slit so it doesn't have to be completely even. I'm going to go over it a couple of times to be sure I really got it all the way through. I believe I have. Let's look on the other side. I did. Okay. Make sure I've got the, the actual edges too. Yes. Good. All right. So now let me put a cap back on that. So now what you will do is you will take the tissue paper and I, I like to sort of loosely fold it not really fold it but kind of into thirds just on one end like that and then you can slide that piece and move my cardboard out of the way try to slide that piece into the little slot that you just made I may need my tissue paper slightly smaller and then you can kind of pull it from the other end there we go kind of just wiggle and jiggle so you get it just right and I just love how it looks like it really does look like a tissue and I I teased the the people at the workshop and I said if you are sending it to if your recipient is going to need a two-ply tissue then you can certainly provide that and just get two pieces of of tissue and put them together but this is just a single ply <laughs> which is just kind of fun okay so that's all you're gonna need to do there and we'll, let's see we'll need to do our banner and to do banners I just to kind of flag it you just go straight into the center and then go from the corner and meet the little 
line that you just went and put into the center. There are punches that you can actually use to do this as well, but this one, I find this one fairly easy, quick and easy. And you don't, you don't have to be exact. All right, and so this is going to go right in here and our tissue box is gonna go there and our sentiment and that is all gonna be put up. We can go ahead and I will, let's see if I have any um, of the multi-purpose liquid glue in here. When you, you don't have, it doesn't take a lot um, of the glue. It's a very strong glue and it's also pretty forgiving. You can, you have some wiggle room time. So we'll put that on the very vanilla and then those onto the starry sky. Another thing when you're just starting out in paper crafting that you may not know is it's a lot easier to put the glue on the smaller piece because if you were to put it on the larger piece, you might end up with glue on a little further out than you were anticipating. All right, and I probably, this is what I did was I embossed just the front of the card after it was scored and just kind of lined it up. But this time you have to put the it through the machine incorrectly. So you have to be really careful. So the embossing folder would be like this onto the card and you would line it up exactly how you wanted it and then you're going to run it through that way. So which is really incorrect and you're going to have to be extra careful. So and then this is going to go straight on here. That and your um, tissue box and your sentiment are going to be popped up on dimensionals. I think it's a good idea to kind of adhere your the tissue down with the so it's not going to come out of the. Hopefully your recipient won't try to pull it out. <laughs> but anyway, got the backing stuck to me. So, but by kind of crossing those over, it will it'll help. Let me pull all the backs off. Okay, and then I, actually we're gonna put this down first. And I think I put it basically in the center. Let's do that one first. And it doesn't need glue on the very edges. Okay, it's relatively centered. Now we can put our tissue box and it has that as the background. And like I said, you can kind of move your the tissue around the way you would like it to be and then let me grab the um, our sentiment and we'll stamp the sentiment and put that one on there all right and then we stamped or i stamped the sentiment on our little two by two piece of very vanilla and then cut it out with the stylish shapes the third from the smallest and we will also put this one up on dimensionals Oh, I think three dimensionals sounds good. Let me pull the backs off. And we're going to put that right about there. All right, now the only thing we have to do is the center. And while we had the flowers out, we probably could have stamped the flowers. So let's grab the flowers again in our starry sky ink and all I did was I put a lot of times on the inside I will stamp off and make it a lighter color but I, I liked this one I liked it with in full strength all right, all right now we're going to take this because again it's the smaller piece and we are going to put some liquid glue on it adhere it to two the slightly bigger starry sky piece of paper and then all of that on to our the inside of our card base okay it looks like i'm a little off kilter so you get to see yeah yes how nice the liquid glue is to be able to 
to move it. Ah, oh, much better. All right, so there it is. Very easy to do. Um, and like I said, I just love, love, love that little um, element to it with the tissue. So I hope you do. I hope you're, you'll are you be able to use that. I hope you notice the, the stamp set and, and want to use that stamp set as well, the speedy recovery. So I guess that is it for now. Where's my original? Here's my original. So there we have the original and the one that we just made our get well card so thanks for watching and thanks so much for those of you have who have already subscribed to my youtube channel if you have not please consider subscribing i usually put out a video about once every other week so i look forward to hearing from you please leave a comment and and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time in the creative treehouse thanks so much bye bye